What's going on, family? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Today, guys, we about to change the shoes, man. Yeah. I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, I am, because this was uh, kind of early today. Well, not got off early, but you know, it's going to be a short week for me, at least from the full-time gig. So this gives me an opportunity to take care of some stuff that I need to take care of, some personal stuff, some um, house stuff, and some birthday stuff. Yeah, man, your boy birthday week, man. Hopefully we can get all these videos out. I'm behind a few videos. I got three videos in the hole that needs to go out. And I've been having, you know, some technical difficulties. I believe it's a YouTube thing because they've been killing me. I've had videos go all the way to 30 something percent and then it just died. Like, not understanding what's going on, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make it out. We're gonna work it out and make it happen. Guys, it's gonna be a short video today. Uh, what we're doing today is getting Zeus ready for a tire change. Tire change. Yeah, remember those tires I showed you guys that we talked about the other day? Yeah, those guys right there. We are going to be putting those on those wheels. So those summer tires, I mean, those all season are coming off and we put summers on. We get warm weather. The all seasons are sliding a bit. So I took the factories. We brought them out here, cleaned them up a bit. Yeah, man, they looking good. We clean them up a bit. They're only going to probably be on the car for maybe a day, maybe a day or two. But I wanted to clean them up because they were dirty. I've been meaning to clean them since I pulled them off the car. Um, yeah, man, just trying to get them right. Um, yeah, man, that's what we're working on, man. That's what we're going to be working on today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this car off the ground. Um, we're going to do one side at a time, just to let you guys know. We're going to go ahead on and do one side at a time, swap out the tires on this side because it's so close over here. Pull a car out, spin it around, do the other side. And that's going to be pretty much what we're doing today, man. Yeah, man. We're going to see what the uh, old shoes, original shoes look like on the vet again, man. Give me a second. Yeah. Young Shy Beats. Purchase your tracks today. Young Shy Beats.
purchase your tracks today. Young Shy Beats. Look an easy video. And uh, although I sped this up, it took like 30 minutes to do this. This wasn't no, and this is 30 minutes of me <laughs> looking at TV, you know, moving tires around, looking for parts, moving the car. Not a big job. How many of you guys change your own tires? Oh, let me, give me a second, guys. Let me, let me, let me uh, mute this because I don't know if this is going to be an issue sitting up here watching Josh you dig. Um, but <clears throat> how many of you guys change your own tires and wheels, right? So do you follow all the rules? Do you do the star pattern? Um, do you use an impact? Do you use a wrench? I highly recommend getting, if you guys are able to, man, get an impact. Pull up an impact. They're worth their weight in gold. Um, and also get torque sticks. So you don't have to worry about if you tighten them up too tight or if you, you know, don't tighten them up tight enough. You know the specs. Use the right torque stick. It's automatic. Also, after you torque your wheels, man, did you guys know that you should retorque them after like 100 miles? Just to make sure that they're tight, man. It's the little things, man. It's the little things. You know, I know a lot of people know that, but they got some people out there that may not know that. I like sharing information. I do the research and in efforts of sometimes hoping somebody doesn't know, somebody else doesn't have to. But one thing I always recommend is is to do your own research. Uh, the plus with doing your own research is, man, once you learn it, you learn it, you'll never lose it. Knowledge is power. So now that we got these wheels on, we're gonna load these guys in the Jeep, along with those tires. Focus. Oh yeah, we're gonna take two of these. We're taking those two right there with the box on it. <laughs> and then uh, taking it to the tire shop tomorrow. I'm going to drop them off, let them do their magic, do a little cruising around, hanging out. <sighs> I think I got somebody coming over here tomorrow. God dog it, we got some maintenance around the house. <sighs> well, not a problem, because I can get up early. I can go to that first. I can drop the tires off, wheels and tires off. Be done with that. Drop them off and let them do their thing. Come back home. Go pick them up when they're ready. I want to say I got a window in between like 12 and 2. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Getting new thermostats put in the house. I don't know if you guys, uh, how many of you guys have these houses that have multiple, they call zones, right? So in my house, I have what's considered Four different zones. What are zones? Zones are individually controlled areas of the house that where AC runs. 
So it's a, an efficiency thing uh, when you got a lot of space. So what it does is, for example, like the bedroom right here, there's a bedroom over the garage. It has its own zone. As opposed to having to run the AC and the heat or the heat around the whole house constantly just to heat up this room, you can have it on. It'll turn on only in this room and turn off when this room hits the desired temperature. And it does that around the whole house in all the four different zones. Kind of cool stuff. Um, yeah. But the cool part is, um, through our little home warranty, because one of them went bad and it was the original units in here. Man, they're replacing all of them. And when I tell you these things are so high tech, they, they're crazy. I could check the therm, I could turn the thermostat up and down from my phone before I get home in a certain area of the house so I can have it at a certain temperature. I could check the temperature. Man, it's, it's just gonna be gangster. I'm looking forward to that, man. Looking forward to that, man. Now we got these wheels on. We probably gonna go for a quick little ride. Oh, I don't know. It look like it might be about to rain again. It's been on and off with this rain stuff, man. I'm tempted to go out anyway and just wash the car tomorrow. I got bugs on it, so I might as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But, um, yeah, man, y'all know how we do, man. <laughs> we get it in. Had a great time with my brother, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that video out in, um, out in Ohio, man. Triple S Collection. That was, that was a killer, killer show, man. It was a dope, dope time. Had a great time with my little big bro, Catfish. He really hooked me up, man. When I say he hooked me up, you know, I had other things going on, too, personal stuff. And he, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, man. He was, he kind of, he, he was there for me to a point to keep me from having that bother me. You know what I mean? That's my bro, man. He good people, man. He good people. <laughs> but now we got these wheels over. We're going to take these to the shop. Get them put on, swapped over. We're going to get them back home. We're going to clean them up. We're going to uh, put another coating on them. We're going to do the graphene coating on them this time, guys. Make it really, really easy to clean. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to slap them puppies back on. Zeus. And take it for a rip. Hey, man. Come on now. Y'all know how we do. These will look so clean on here. Man, they look good. The factories just be popping. They just work. They just be popping. Come on, man. Y'all know how it is, man. We do big things around here, man. We do it big. We don't play ourselves short. We know our worth. You know your worth, man. You know you can't be doing average, mundane, simple things, man. Why is that, you say? Come on now, y'all know why, man. Because we were designed from greatness. Man, because we were designed from greatness, you have the right, the responsibility, the authority to never, ever, ever be average. So guys, y'all know how we end it? Don't be average ever. Yeah.